Hey there, my name is Matt, otherwise known as Goon, and today I'm bringing a revolutionary microlight from Futuristic Lights. The Ether. The Ether is jam-packed with amazing new features. These features include 38 colors, 15 colors per mode, 13 modes, and 7 slots. On top of all of this, the Ether brings the new pioneering technology to the table known as chip-to-chip -chip communication. Now let's talk about slots. Slots are super simple. A slot equals a mode plus a color set. And think of it in a box. You can change a mode, but not the color set. Or you can change a color set, but not the mode. Chip-to-chip -chip communication has two different functions that make it special for two different types of scenarios. There's chip transfer, and there's also slot transfer. Let's talk about chip transfer first. Chip transfer is a feature on the ethers that allows you to send your color sets, modes, and slots to one ether in the blink of an eye, or the rest of your glove set in under 10 seconds. Under 10 seconds. This feature is a lot like copy and pasting on your everyday computer. It's like taking what you want and overriding what was there before. It saves hours and hours of what you would be doing programming and it allows you to share your modes, colors, and sets with your friends. Isn't that cool? Let me give you a demo. While both of your chips are off, hold down the chip that you want to send information from down until it turns white, then let go. Now, it'll be blinking white and yellow, and that's when you know it's sending information. Once in sending mode, point the chip towards the button of the light that you want to send information to. Once it blinks blue twice, you know you've sent all the color sets, modes, and slots to this chip. Slot transfer allows you to send one slot from one of your chips to the other, without having to overwrite the entire chip. First things first, use the chip that you want to have receive information from and turn it on. Then, go to the slot that you want to have replaced. Once there, turn it off. Next, turn on the chip that you want to send information from and cycle to the slot that you want to transfer. Once there, hold down until the fourth white light. You are then in sending mode. Once in sending mode, point towards the button on the chip that you want to send information to until the blue light flashes twice. Once it's blinked twice, you're good. For the ethers, we decided to bring back the awesome functionalities of move to front and conjure mode from the kinetics, but we changed them up a little bit. For move to front, cycle to the slot that you want to have moved to the front, then hold down the button until the third light, then let go. The slot that you want to move to the front is now there at the front of your cycle. On the ether, conjure mode functions on the first slot and the first slot alone. So once you've moved to front the slot that you want to have in conjure mode, hold down the button again until the third light appears. Then let go. Now you'll see that it is in conjure mode. And you're all good. You're great. Let's talk about color selection. While the light is on, hold down the button until the first light appears, then let go. You'll now see this white pulsing light. This is our new and improved demo view. Let's say you find yourself in color programming on accident. This will be the first thing you see. If you see this light and you don't want to be in color programming mode in the first place, hold down the button until it flashes white twice, then let go. You'll see that your colors aren't changed whatsoever and you can go about color programming at another time or at your own expense. <laughs> Now that we've finished talking about demo view, let's talk about our actual color programming. On the ethers, we have 38 vibrant colors for you to choose from. Our first colors are our primary colors, white, blank, red, green, and blue. After that, we have all of our secondary or tertiary colors to choose from. Once we've found the color that we want to use, we can hold down the button and it will begin to cycle through all the different brightnesses that we have available. Once you see the brightness that you like, let go. Then you will have your first color selected. Once you've selected your color, you will be brought back to demo view where you can see the strobe and the colors you've chosen. When you're done programming or choosing your colors, you can hold down the button and it will flash twice. Now you've got your brand new color set to work with. And remember, in each one of our 13 modes, you can choose up to 15 different colors per mode. That's a lot of colors to choose from, but the fact that we have our chip-to-chip -chip communication will bring down the entire process to practically zero. 
Yo! Now, let's talk about mode selection. Like I mentioned earlier, a slot contains a mode as well as a color. The mode is something that you can change independently from the color set. Let's talk about how you can change said mode. First, turn the light on, then hold down the button until the second light appears. Now, you're in mode selection. The first mode you'll be seeing is sandbox. Once you start cycling through, you'll see all the different modes that we have available to you on the ethers. Some unique modes, some classic modes as well. Once you've chosen the mode that you like, hold down the button and let go. Once it blinks twice, you've got the new mode for your slot. On the ethers, we have two different types of modes that you can use. We have classic modes, which are the modes that you know and love. And then we also have dynamic modes, which are unique modes on the ethers that have unique features. Let's talk about classic modes first. For our classic modes, we have some modes that you might be familiar with, such as Sandbox, popular from the Kinetics, Hyperstrobe, Dops, Strobe, Blink, and Tracer. Yeah! Dynamic modes are unique modes on the Kinetics that have a certain dynamic twist to them. Let's talk about Dop Wave first. Dop Wave is a stellar strobe where the frequency of dots between the strobe grows and shrinks over a period of time, creating a wave-like effect. Pretty cool if you ask me. Let's talk about burst mode. Burst is a burst of dops in sets of three. The strobe will dynamically change based upon how many colors you decide to include within the strobe, but it will always maintain its flickery effect. Dash dop is a dynamic mode on the ethers that not only has a dash, but dops as well, just like the namesake. The dash is the first color you choose. Each color you choose afterwards will add on dops to the pattern. Hyperloop is a three color hyper strobe that shifts over one color in your color set every five seconds. This creates a diverse color pattern that changes over a long period of time, creating a really fresh looking light show. Let's talk about Vortex. We Vortex is a two color strobe that shifts along your color set every 12 strobes. Let's talk about fusion. Fusion is a dense, consistent strobe that blends between the colors in your color set over a short period of time. It creates a really interesting rainbow-like effect, and it's really cool to see. Stretch is an interesting strobe that starts off at a dops-like pattern and then slowly stretches to a ribbon over an eight second period. It's a really interesting strobe that gets all the classic strobes in one single mode. To conclude, guys, the Ether is one of the most revolutionary microlights on the market, creating a whole new world for programming. On top of that, it increases customization while decreasing complexity. And you know what? We did some math. There are more color and mode combinations than there are particles within the universe. And we can't wait to see what you do with it.